Hello YouTube and welcome to another Tired Storyteller tutorial, except that this is my first one. So this is a game I've been playing way too much of instead of actually making videos, it's called Outward. Pretty darn good, I got the DLC. So one thing I'm going to need y'all to understand is that this game looks much better than uh, this video will imply. I can only run it on low graphics because this computer sucks. So anyway, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys the most effective way to get iron spikes. Now keep in mind, this is the best way to do it. There are no easier ways. So it really doesn't matter what your character looks like, so I'm gonna randomize him. Perfect. He's... Okay, so when you first, you know, make your character, you're going to be in a tutorial of sorts area. There's a couple of things you're going to want to grab if you want to effectively make iron spikes. And I cannot stress enough that this is the best way to make iron spikes. All my life, I've lived within the safety of Sierra, spared the brutality of the world outside, but life in R.I. is never that easy. For all the safety that my tribe provides, our laws are harsh. We are judged not as individuals, but as bloodlines. The failures of my bloodline weigh heavy on me. My grandmother brought ruin to our tribe long ago, bringing a heavy blood price upon my family. We've paid the debt caused by her actions ever since. I joined an expedition across the sea with my friend Yazan hoping the money made there would be enough to clear my debts. This was a mistake. I'm lucky to still be breathing after our ship hit rock on the return voyage. Now I have no choice but to pick myself up yet again and face the world. This is how to make iron spikes. Okay, so your character's going to start out. Uh, I'm playing the game at 20 FPS, but that's because uh, my computer sucks. If I was playing on potato graphics, I could easily get 30 but my computer's trash, so just ignore that. So you're going to want to pick up everything that you find along the beach. Nothing's that great, but it's pretty helpful. These tatter ra tattered rags are pretty good. Uh, what you're going to want to do when you get the tattered rags is open your inventory uh, and take those off. Okay, so you're going to want your character to be nude for reasons. Seaweed is pretty helpful to pick up. I'm not going to pick up any more torches. I think I've made my point. Torches, uh, you can't strip them for, what is the word here, iron. What we need is iron scraps, okay? Fishing harpoon, you're going to want to pick that up. Whoops, you might as well drink some clean drinking water, it boosts your stamina regen. Now I'm going to want to take out my fishing uh, hook harpoon thing for the next bit here. So you're going to want to ignore your f buddy Yazan up there. He's in that broken part of the ship. Don't know how it got up there. I don't want to know. Unimportant to this tutorial. We are only here to make iron spikes. You're going to want to pick up this machete, though. Like, that is infinitely useful. So you're going to want to avoid these hyenas. They don't drop anything helpful. Predator bones are pretty handy, but don't let anybody tell you that they're the best thing ever. Okay, don't listen to me. Predator bones are pretty good. Okay, so you're going to want to ignore that your character is overburdened. Come ov over here to this thing here. This is a hollowed out log. You can open it, loot the place. Uh, nothing good in there. A pair of pants and a hat. Okay, so that hyena is going to chase me. I don't know how far it's going to chase me. Uh, this is a one take sort of thing. I've not actually prepared. But your overburdened character should still be able to, you know, outmaneuver a uh, not overburdened hyena for realism. Okay, it seems to have stopped chasing me, which is good. Okay, so you're going to want to come over here now to this beach. I see more seaweed. I thought there was a junk pile. No, there is. The junk pile's just over here. So there's useful stuff scattered all over the place. I would recommend, if the point isn't... To just make iron spikes, you pick up some of this seaweed. Seaweed. Uh, seaweed can be used to make a useful item called a soothing tea or whatever. So you're going to want to come over here. All of this stuff is pretty handy. Uh, ignore the fact that your pouch is overweight. It's going to be. In fact, come up into here. Uh, unequip everything your character's wearing. You're going to want to come over here to survival crafting. Go ahead and scrap the machete. Okay, scrap the pickaxe. Scrap your fishing pole. You're going to want to scrap all of the clothes you just picked up, including the boots. Okay, so as you can see, we're not overburdened anymore, and we've got a lot of useful items. Uh, scrap is good. 
or what is it? Linen cloth? Good stuff. Wow, this tutorial sucks, but it's kind of supposed to. Okay, so now that we've done all of that actually practical stuff, you're going to want to come up here. Here's a bandage. You can pick that up. There's some bread in this basket over here. And you can talk to this dude here while completely naked. Iron Spikes, you're alive. You must be freezing. Come, warm up by the fire before you freeze to death. Okay, he'll also give you some clothes. I'm going to stop reading because I'm way too no, tired to do that. He's a Kazite. He was born on a ship. Hey, I'm also a Kazite. Okay, so you're going to want to unequip the clothes he just gave you. Also turn those into some linen. Okay, now take a nap. It doesn't matter how long you sleep, you're just going to wake up in Sierra Zoe, so I'm going to sleep for 24 hours. Yeah, loading times in this game aren't great. It doesn't help that my computer's trash. Unconsciousness comes quickly, and you dream of being ensnared in something. With a yelp, you jump out of your bed. Relief floods you as you recognize where you are. You are back in your old bed at home, the lighthouse in Sierzo. Yazan must have brought you back to your family's lighthouse. Only your aching body tells you that that shipwreck you suffered was not a nightmare. So after a 7 second loading screen that feels like a 20 second loading screen, you're going to want to come over here, pick up some boots and some clothes. These ones you can keep, doesn't matter. The main thing you're going to want to pick up in your house is this primitive satchel. Come over to this chest. What's in here is randomized. Uh, nothing in there is good for me because I just need anything metal. Okay, jerky doesn't hurt. It helps with a uh, health regen. Not bad to have. You're going to want to come into your basement of here. Whoops. Pick up an old oil lantern. Go ahead and unequip that. You can come over here. Same with everything else. Turn that into some iron scrap. Okay, flint and steel. There's going to be some iron scrap on this table here. We don't need a bedroll where we're going. You're going to want to pick up this jam. And this bread over here. These are going to come in handy later. Come to the kitchen. And make some grabberry tartine. This is really good for stamina. Okay, so you're going to want to leave your lighthouse. Rise and shine. Uh, these people aren't saying anything Enough important, so you can just earlier. skip it. You know, story okay. stuff. We are just here to, pay back the money. to make some spikes. Either gather the money or earn a tribal favor, and they won't be able to touch you. Anyway, so that's the uh, village elder. She can really project her voice. Okay, so now that you're out of the lighthouse, you know, home free, you're going to want to come over here. There's a lot of running around in this game. I'm not going to consume the, uh, tartine at the moment. So you're going to want to pick up this great felling axe. Come back down here. To the main village. If you want, you can talk to some of these people along the way. They don't have too much interesting to say, though, because, you know... It's a small fishing village. Nobody really has much to say whatsoever. Okay, so there is a hatchet over here. You're going to want to come over here to the water purifier. There's your buddy Yazan. Okay, so this water skin's going to come in handy. Go ahead and pick it up. Uh, you got to hold Y to drink water. I guess it only counts if you drink it out of your pouch. So drinking water also helps with stamina regen. So between the uh, water skin and that tartine we made earlier, we're going to have pretty good stamina. So you're going to want to come over here, pick up this other fishing spear. If you remember, we broke the last one for iron spikes. Or iron scraps. If you want, you can do some fishing. It's not really necessary for this tutorial. So early on in the game, stamina is a pretty big thing. Uh, you're not going to have... God tier stamina for a bit. In fact, depending on how you play the game, your stamina is kind of always going to suck, especially if you're doing a terrible tutorial. Whether on purpose, or, you know, purely coincidentally. Okay, so you're going to want to come into here. It's called the uh, Sierra Zoe Storage. Later in the game, there's an item in here called a Legacy ta Chest, but that's not helpful to this tutorial. Okay, so when you're in here, oh, ignore the uh, gray around the screen, that's just because my stamina's low. In here, you're going to want to pick up everything you find. This old lantern, this flint and steel, can never have enough flint and steel. 
Uh, don't sleep, please. Get out of there. Okay, so up here, some more bread. Never hurts. You're always going to want to check these. They're called junk piles. They usually have useful things, like this hatchet. If you want to, you can take all clothed, like clothing items, turn them into a pretty useful s uh, linen. I'm going to want to use a hatchet because through here, which is where we want to go next, there's some pretty dangerous enemies. Go ahead and pick up another mining pick. Okay, so these are basically the first enemy you come across in the game. Whoops, they're called uh, troglodytes. I accidentally have invincibility enabled. That kind of ruins my tutorial. Uh, do these break into scraps? I genuinely don't know. Where is it? I picked it up, right? Maybe you can't tear them apart. Well, if you can't disassemble these, they're useless to us. Let's drop it. Okay, over in, I think, this direction, there's an iron vein, which you can mine up using that pick you picked up a second ago. Ignore that troglodyte. He means nothing to us. Okay, so through here, there's a ramp downwards. This is very important. You're going to want to head this way. That sign just says that once down here, you can't get back out. I don't know why doing this voice is so hard on me. Anyway, so you're going to want to come this direction. There's some pretty interesting, uh, useful stuff you can loot off the beach. Occasionally next to these, there's going to be veins of, uh, some kind of ore. Anyway, this dude wants a bandage. He'll give you something called a tribal favor, if you do. So I'm just going to leave that for him. There you go, buddy. Okay, so what we want to do is come this direction. There we go, Amalite. That's the uh, rare shell ore I was talking about. So as you can see, we're being pursued by some kind of big crayfish. That's not what I wanted to do at all. So you're going to want to come in here. Go ahead and take a sip of water. Eat one of our tartines. For some reason, drinking the water is not helping my stamina. Does it have something to do with me be having invincibility enabled? I'm not cheating, I'm just messing with stuff. Okay, that just makes it sound like I'm cheating. Oh yeah, you can press a left, the little left uh, directional button if you want to put away your torch. Or put it out, rather. That has nothing to do with iron spikes, which is our main goal here. Okay, so you're going to want to come back up. Bandits are kind of something you have to deal with in the world of Outward, so just look out for that. They occasionally drop helpful iron weapons you can break down into steel scrap. Or iron scrap, rather. Here's another one of those caches I said to always keep your eyes open for. You might find some helpful scrap. Like, look at that. Everything in here can be turned into iron scrap, or actively was iron scrap. Okay, so we're going to want to break down some of our hatchets. Let's break this down. Let's break down our fishing pole. And these lanterns are cumbersome, so let's break those both down. You should have a pretty good collection of iron scrap by now if you're following this tutorial. But also, if you are following this tutorial, get some help. Okay, so we're going to want to continue this direction. Okay, so this is pretty nifty. These butterflies here symbolize that this is a safe spot. So if you had a tent, this is a pretty good place to set it, right next to this supply cache. And would you look at that? Some cool, useful things. So fall damage is a pretty big thing in this game, but most falls won't actually hurt you. Go ahead and mine any rich iron deposits you see. As you can see, I got a medium ruby. My pouch is overweight, which is unfortunate. If you're collecting amylite for whatever reason, there's more of it over by that big shell. But if you want iron spikes, you're going to come into here. Into this place called, uh, Vandevel Fortress. Mm 
Okay, so those people over there aren't too interesting to interact with, so you're going to want to come over here and talk to this guy, Croc. Well, now. Basically, uh, we have here? he's just offering you a safe place to rest. You know, good dude all around. He even gives you a bunch of dirty clothes, which are helpful. Okay, so you're going to want to leave the cell that you found yourself in. Come over here. And is it left or right? Yeah, so off to the right. You're going to want to talk to this dude. What can I do for you? Uh, ask if there's Here's anything else you can I do. Need. He'll open, unlock this gate. I don't know why he does that, but he does. You're going to want to come over here. Here's your... Here's a chest with all of your stuff in it. Oh, my pouch is overweight. Okay, so when you're too overweight, your character just kind of waddles. That's whatever. Okay, so I will eventually have my pouch again. Primitive settle. Let me just move some stuff over. Actually, let's just uh, tear up anything useless. I'll just drop it. I don't care. Drop anything you don't need. Once you've dropped anything not essential, go ahead and just come back here into the prison. I mean, uh, motel. Not that way. Okay, so at this point you should have several pickaxes. You're gonna want to come through, not that way. You're gonna want to come through here. And there's all of these pretty uh, cool iron veins. You're going to want to mine them up. You're, I said you're going to want to mine them up. There you go. Look at that. Got more scrap. Here's one here. Got a lot more iron scrap. Here's another one. Okay. So you're probably wondering, what am I going to do with all of this iron? Well... Before we answer that, there's actually more iron you can get over here. So just pick up all of these mining picks. I'm physically unable to move. That's fine. Just drop that. Pick up more iron. Can't move again. That's whatever. You're going to want to come into here. Decraft all of those pickaxes you just picked up. They weigh less as scraps than they do as pickaxes. Pick up those last two. Can't move again. That's whatever. Come back in here to crafting. It's really simple at this point. Like, you guys probably get the picture. Okay. Pick up your bag. Now, at this point, we have plenty of iron scrap, so we don't need any more pickaxes. Especially when we can turn those into more iron scrap. Okay, so, this is, like, the ideal. As you can see here, I've got 51 iron scrap, and I'm, like, what, 10 minutes into the game? If you want, you can scrap your weapon, you just gotta unequip it first. Now you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with iron spikes? Well, that's easy. So you come in here to survival crafting. And for the low cost of four iron scrap, that's not iron scrap, you can make iron spikes. And you make three of them with this recipe. Almost wasted some iron there. So anyway, as you can see, uh, this is the fastest definitive way to collect iron scrap. So if you want to know what you need to do with all this, not iron scrap, uh, iron spikes. So you go ahead and set a tripwire. You gotta arm these with something. How do I equip these? Uh, let's drop one. I think that's how you do it. So drop those in there. That's not how you do that, is it? No, it's not. Okay, so you come into here. Go ahead and arm it with the iron spikes. There we go! This is clearly not the first time I've ever done this. And uh, this has been a tired storyteller tutorial on how to get iron spikes in Outward. I hope this was helpful. And uh, I honestly hope it wasn't, actually. If you want to know how to get back out of this hotel, you can just jump down here. Your character survives.